Saul persecutes the church. Acts chapter 8 Now Saul was consenting to his death. At that time a great persecution arose against the church which was at Jerusalem, and they were all scattered throughout the regions of Judea and Samaria, except the apostles. Two and devout men carried Stephen to his burial, and made great lamentation over him. Three is for Saul, he made havoc of the church, entering every house, and dragging off men and women, committing them to prison. Christ is preached in Samaria. For therefore those who were scattered went everywhere preaching the word. Five then Philip went down to, A, the city of Samaria, and preached Christ to them. Six and the multitudes with one accord heeded the things spoken by Philip, hearing and seeing the miracles which he did. Seven for unclean spirits, crying with a loud voice, came out of many who were possessed, and many who were paralyzed and lame were healed. Eight and there was great joy in that city. The sorcerer's profession of faith. Nine but there was a certain man called Simon, who previously practiced, b sorcery in the city and astonished the c people of samaria claiming that he was someone great ten to whom they all gave heed from the least to the greatest saying this man is the great power of god eleven and they heeded him because he had astonished them with his d sorceries for a long time twelve but when they believed philip as he preached the things concerning the kingdom of god and the name of jesus christ both men and women were baptized thirteen then simon himself also believed and when he was baptized he continued with philip and was amazed seeing the miracles and signs which were done the sorcerer's sin Fourteen now when the apostles who were at Jerusalem heard that Samaria had received the word of God, they sent Peter and John to them, fifteen who, when they had come down, prayed for them that they might receive the Holy Spirit. Sixteen for as yet he had fallen upon none of them. They had only been baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Seventeen then they laid hands on them, and they received the Holy Spirit. 18 and when simon saw that through the laying on of the apostles hands the holy spirit was given he offered them money 19 saying give me this power also that anyone on whom i lay hands may receive the holy spirit 20 but peter said to him your money perish with you because you thought that the gift of god could be purchased with money 21 you have neither part nor portion in this matter for your heart is not right in the sight of God. 22. Repent therefore of this your wickedness, and pray God if perhaps the thought of your heart may be forgiven you. 23. For I see that you are poisoned by bitterness and bound by iniquity. 24. Then Simon answered and said, Pray to the Lord for me, that none of the things which you have spoken may come upon me. 25 so when they had testified and preached the word of the lord they returned to jerusalem preaching the gospel in many villages of the samaritans christ is preached to an ethiopian 26 now an angel of the lord spoke to philip saying arise and go toward the south along the road which goes down from jerusalem to gaza this is e desert 27 so he arose and went and behold, a man of Ethiopia, a eunuch of great authority under Candace the queen of the Ethiopians, who had charge of all her treasury, and had come to Jerusalem to worship, 28 was returning. And sitting in his chariot, he was reading Isaiah the prophet. 29 then the spirit said to Philip, Go near and overtake this chariot. 30 so Philip ran to him, and heard him reading the prophet Isaiah, and said do you understand what you are reading 31 and he said how can i unless someone guides me and he asked philip to come up and sit with him 32 the place in the scripture which he read was this he was led as a sheep to the slaughter and as a lamb before its shearer is silent so he opened not his mouth 
33 in his humiliation his justice was taken away and who will declare his generation for his life is taken from the earth 34 so the eunuch answered philip and said i ask you of whom does the prophet say this of himself or of some other man 35 then philip opened his mouth and beginning at this scripture preached jesus to him 36 now as they went down the road they came to some water and the eunuch said see here is water what hinders me from being baptized 37 f then philip said if you believe with all your heart you may and he answered and said i believe that jesus christ is the son of god 38 so he commanded the chariot to stand still and both philip and the eunuch went down into the water and he baptized him 39 now when they came up out of the water the spirit of the lord caught philip away so that the eunuch saw him no more and he went on his way rejoicing 40 but philip was found at g azotus and passing through he preached in all the cities till he came to caesarea the damascus road saul converted acts chapter 9 then saul still breathing threats and murder against the disciples of the lord went to the high priest too and asked letters from him to the synagogues of damascus so that if he found any who were of the way whether men or women he might bring them bound to jerusalem three as he journeyed he came near damascus and suddenly a light shone around him from heaven for then he fell to the ground and heard a voice saying to him saul saul why are you persecuting me five and he said who are you lord then the lord said i am jesus whom you are persecuting h it is hard for you to kick against the goads six so he trembling and astonished said lord what do you want me to do then the lord said to him arise and go into the city and you will be told what you must do seven and the men who journeyed with him stood speechless hearing a voice but seeing no one eight then saul arose from the ground and when his eyes were opened he saw no one but they led him by the hand and brought him into damascus nine and he was three days without sight and neither ate nor drank ananias baptizes saul ten now there was a certain disciple at damascus named ananias and to him the lord said in a vision ananias and he said here i am lord eleven so the lord said to him arise and go to the street called straight and inquire at the house of judas for one called saul of tarsus for behold he is praying 12 and in a vision he has seen a man named ananias coming in and putting his hand on him so that he might receive his sight 13 then ananias answered lord i have heard from many about this man how much i harm he has done to your saints in jerusalem 14 and here he has authority from the chief priests to bind all who call on your name 15 but the lord said to him go for he is a chosen vessel of mine to bear my name before gentiles kings and the children j of israel 16 for i will show him how many things he must suffer for my name's sake 17 and ananias went his way and entered the house and laying his hands on him he said brother saul the lord k jesus who appeared to you on the road as you came has sent me that you may receive your sight and be filled with the holy spirit 18 immediately there fell from his eyes something like scales and he received his sight at once and he arose and was baptized 19 so when he had received food he was strengthened then saul spent some days with the disciples at damascus saul preaches christ 20 immediately he preached l the Christ in the synagogues, that he is the Son of God. 21 Then all who heard were amazed, and said, 
Is this not he who destroyed those who called on this name in Jerusalem, and has come here for that purpose, so that he might bring them bound to the chief priests? 22 But Saul increased all the more in strength, and confounded the Jews who dwelt in Damascus, proving that this Jesus is the Christ. Saul escapes death. 23 Now after many days were passed, the Jews plotted to kill him. 24 But their plot became known to Saul. And they watched the gates day and night to kill him. 25 Then the disciples took him by night and led him down through the wall in a large basket. Saul at Jerusalem. 26 And when Saul had come to Jerusalem, he tried to join the disciples, but they were all afraid of him, and did not believe that he was a disciple. 27 But Barnabas took him and brought him to the apostles. And he declared to them how he had seen the Lord on the road, and that he had spoken to him, and how he had preached boldly at Damascus in the name of Jesus. 28 So he was with them at Jerusalem, coming in and going out. 29 And he spoke boldly in the name of the Lord Jesus and disputed against the Hellenists, M, but they attempted to kill him. 30 When the brethren found out, they brought him down to Caesarea and sent him out to Tarsus. The church prospers. 31 Then the N churches throughout all Judea, Galilee, and Samaria had peace and were edified, O. Oh, and walking in the fear of the Lord and in the comfort of the Holy Spirit, they were multiplied. Aeneas healed. 32 Now it came to pass, as Peter went through all parts of the country, that he also came down to the saints who dwelt in Lydda. 33 There he found a certain man named Aeneas, who had been bedridden in eight years and was paralyzed. 34 And Peter said to him, Aeneas, Jesus the Christ heals you. Arise and make your bed. Then he arose immediately. 35 So all who dwelt at Lydda and Sharon saw him and turned to the Lord. Dorcas restored to life. 36 At Joppa there was a certain disciple named P. Tabitha, which is translated Q. Dorcas. This woman was full of good works and charitable deeds which she did. 37 But it happened in those days that she became sick and died. When they had washed her, they laid her in an upper room. 38 And since Lydda was near Joppa, and the disciples had heard that Peter was there, they sent two men to him, imploring him not to delay in coming to them. 39 Then Peter arose and went with them. When he had come, they brought him to the upper room. And all the widows stood by him weeping, showing the tunics and garments which Dorcas had made while she was with them. Forty but Peter put them all out, and knelt down and prayed. And turning to the body he said, Tabitha, arise. And she opened her eyes, and when she saw Peter she sat up. Forty-one then he gave her his hand and lifted her up. And when he had called the saints and widows, he presented her alive. 42 And it became known throughout all Joppa, and many believed on the Lord. 43 So it was that he stayed many days in Joppa with Simon, a tanner. Cornelius sends a delegation. Acts chapter 10 There was a certain man in Caesarea called Cornelius, a centurion of what was called the Italian, R. Regiment, to a devout man and one who feared God with all his household, who gave, S. alms generously to the people, and prayed to God always. 3. About, T. The ninth hour of the day he saw clearly in a vision an angel of God coming in and saying to him, Cornelius. 4. And when he observed him, he was afraid, and said, What is it? Lord. So he said to him, Your prayers and your alms have come up for a memorial before God. 5. Now send men to Joppa, and send for Simon whose surname is Peter. 6. He is lodging with Simon, a tanner, whose house is by the sea. He, you, will tell you what you must do. 
7 And when the angel who spoke to him had departed, Cornelius called two of his household servants and a devout soldier from among those who waited on him continually. 8 So when he had explained all these things to them, he sent them to Joppa. Peter's Vision 9 The next day, as they went on their journey and drew near the city, Peter went up on the housetop to pray, about, V, the sixth hour. 10 Then he became very hungry and wanted to eat, but while they made ready, he fell into a trance eleven and saw heaven opened and an object like a great sheet bound at the four corners, descending to him and let down to the earth. Twelve and it were all kinds of four-footed animals of the earth, wild beasts, creeping things, and birds of the air. Thirteen and a voice came to him, Rise, Peter, kill and eat. Fourteen but Peter said, Not so, Lord. For I have never eaten anything common or unclean. 15 And a voice spoke to him again the second time, What God has, W, cleansed you must not call common. 16 This was done three times, and the object was taken up into heaven again, summoned to Caesarea. 17 Now while Peter, X, wondered within himself what this vision which he had seen meant, Behold, the men who had been sent from Cornelius had made inquiry for Simon's house, and stood before the gate. Eighteen and they called and asked whether Simon, whose surname was Peter, was lodging there. Nineteen while Peter thought about the vision, the Spirit said to him, Behold, three men are seeking you. Twenty arise therefore, go down and go with them, doubting nothing, for I have sent them. 21 Then Peter went down to the men, Y, who had been sent to him from Cornelius, and said, Yes, I am he whom you seek. For what reason have you come? 22 And they said, Cornelius the centurion, a just man, one who fears God and has a good reputation among all the nation of the Jews, was divinely instructed by a holy angel to summon you to his house and to hear words from you. 23 Then he invited them in and lodged them. On the next day Peter went away with them, and some brethren from Joppa accompanied him. Peter meets Cornelius. 24 And the following day they entered Caesarea. Now Cornelius was waiting for them, and had called together his relatives and close friends. 25 As Peter was coming in, Cornelius met him and fell down at his feet and worshipped him. 26. But Peter lifted him up, saying, Stand up, I myself am also a man. 27. And as he talked with him, he went in and found many who had come together. 28. Then he said to them, You know how unlawful it is for a Jewish man to keep company with or go to one of another nation. But God has shown me that I should not call any man common or unclean. 29 Therefore I came without objection as soon as I was sent for. I ask, then, for what reason have you sent for me? 30 So Cornelius said, Z, for days ago I was fasting until this hour, and at the ninth hour I prayed in my house, and behold, a man stood before me in bright clothing, 31 and said, Cornelius, your prayer has been heard, and your, a.a., alms are remembered in the sight of God. 32 Send therefore to Joppa and call Simon here, whose surname is Peter. He is lodging in the house of Simon, a tanner, by the sea. Up, uh, when he comes, he will speak to you. 33 So I sent to you immediately, and you have done well to come. Now therefore, we are all present before God, to hear all the things commanded you by God. Preaching to Cornelius' household. 34 Then Peter opened his mouth and said, In truth I perceive that God shows no partiality. 35 But in every nation whoever fears him and works righteousness is accepted by him. 36 The word which God sent to the A.C., children of Israel, preaching peace through Jesus Christ, he is Lord of all, 
37 that word you know, which was proclaimed throughout all Judea, and began from Galilee after the baptism which John preached. 38 How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power, who went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. 39 And we are witnesses of all things which he did both in the land of the Jews and in Jerusalem, whom, at, they killed by hanging on a tree. 40 Him God raised up on the third day, and showed him openly, 41 Not to all the people, but to witnesses chosen before by God, even to us who ate and drank with him after he arose from the dead. 42 And he commanded us to preach to the people, and to testify that it is he who was ordained by God to be judge of the living and the dead. 43 To him all the prophets witness that, through his name, whoever believes in him will receive remission, a.e., of sins. The Holy Spirit falls on the Gentiles. 44 While Peter was still speaking these words, the Holy Spirit fell upon all those who heard the word. 45 And AF, those of the circumcision who believed were astonished, as many as came with Peter, because the gift of the Holy Spirit had been poured out on the Gentiles also. 46 For they heard them speak with tongues and magnify God. Then Peter answered, 47 Can anyone forbid water, that these should not be baptized who have received the Holy Spirit just as we have? 48 And he commanded them to be baptized in the name of the Lord. Then they asked him to stay a few days.